Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody say. My name is MJ Omoto and I welcome you to the African Album Review Podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today, my people. How you doing? Me, I'm doing good. I cannot complain. December is underway. That means the festive season is upon us. I'm really excited for that, but that story for another day. We are taking it to Nigeria today. The latest African album review is... Yemi Alade is undoubtedly one of the hardest working entertainers in the music industry, pretty much as a whole. One thing she will always do is produce the goods. A year and a bit after her last album titled Woman of Steel, she is back with yet another album and this one is titled Empress. Empress is Yemi Alade's fifth studio album. It was released under Efezi Music Group and comes with 15 tracks with a 34 minute runtime. It was released on November 20, 2020. Hmm, interesting. 20, 2020. Mm, I see what you did there, Yemi. Six collabs, including Daju, Estelle, Pato Ranking, Root Boy, and more. There's multiple producer placements, including Chris Beats, Phil Keys, VTech, The Awesome, Project Money, and many more. Anyway, thanks for tuning into the podcast today and I urge you to support what we do right here by going to motomotomusic.com and clicking the PayPal icon on the top right hand corner to donate. That's what keeps our lights on. Interestingly, the cover to Empress is another costume inspired cover like she did on Woman of Steel, only this time going with a head garb predominantly made out of uh, black feathers and a golden pin or brooch which has the map of Africa on it and it's holding everything together. Not really sure what the symbolism is yet, but maybe you can explain to us, Yemi. What's up? <laughs> nice cover though. Album review. Let's analyze the music. True Love is a pacey number that gets things started. It really sounded like uh, a Master KG song <laughs> with that Jerusalem esque feel to it that fuses a couple of uh, South African dance genres to just make a catchy dance number. This is a true feel good tune where Yemi says she can feel it in her whole body that true love is within her and it just makes you experience something you think you would never and all you want to do is listen to happy music what a way to start off the empress album in contrast yo 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 really takes a far more local nigerian sound that blends percussion instruments together with some pentatonic guitar guitar vibes Yemi tells a story about people that are always up and down, like a yo-yo. You never know where they truly stand. One day they love this person, the next day they love the other person, and pretty much lying is what keeps them going. Strange people. The story here is actually hilarious, the way she sings it and just tells it in general. There's that local sound about the song Turn Up as well. Uh, as the project progresses, track three, titled Bami Water, instantly tickled my fancy from the groovy beat right through to the scintillating Congolese Roomba sounding guitar. And <laughs> it just leaves you wanting more. I really think this one could be a top single from this project. The last song on the project called uh, Double Double has that Coupe de Calais Roomba crossover that's huge in West Africa going on. Um, as well so I thought I would just mention uh, mentioned that song in the same breath as um, the other one in the Congolese Roomba guitar and you know what Double Double just made me want to move so Yemi's on to something with this album I definitely lost my mind on the track Lose My Mind which surely will be one of the songs to carry us into 2021 while we party at home 
it is a aphrodontal fusion with a lead riff that makes itself known on the track from start to finish uh Vigi dream gave a fabulous performance to make me wonder who on earth is this i used to listen to Fran french music quite a lot but i think now i'm just more africa through and through so i haven't really caught up on the latest french uh, artists as much as i should uh, but on this song the two talk about a love that is so sweet they are losing their minds have you ever experienced a love like this mm. sounds dangerous if you ask me but i'm a fan of vision team now I would add the song Weekend featuring Estelle as another potential hit on here. It, it has a wonderful melody and has a great feel to it with a beautiful saxophone on top of being well sung. Yamiela Day is not one to shy away from fast tempo numbers of which she proves yet again like she did on the opener True Love and with songs such as Dancina which definitely will have Ghana on its feet with references to some of the popular moves from out there such as the Aguaba. You also get a more local sound infusion on the song Turn Up. I think I mentioned it uh, earlier as well. Uh, to some more familiar inclusions on Empress, Boys finds its way to the Empress track list and to a lesser extent the single I Choose You featuring Daju produced by Dr. Mir. This one was released a week before the album was released. In an attempt to mix things up, you get unexpected fusions such as Ice, which blends Afro pop, reggaeton, dancehall, and more to make it a bouncy groove that's so fit for a chill session when the DJ hasn't really started bumping the hits yet, you know? Album review. The technical side of things. The Empress project is littered with themes centered around heartbreak, uplifting others, experiencing a beautiful love, dancing, having fun, living the life of a boss, and making money, infidelity, and I'd say relationships in general. When I analyze the overall delivery on Empress, I think Yemi Alade has found such a comfortable space as an artist. She knows exactly what she needs to do to make the music twice as nice, yet she still goes in interesting directions on numerous songs, uh, which you don't necessarily expect, so she always has a surprise or two up her sleeve. The interesting thing about Empress is it has a lot going for it. Uh, strategic and powerful collabos, thumping beats that make you want to move. That sounds like a typical Yemi Alade album in many ways, but when you peel the layers, this album has a wider appeal than what you'd be used to. For starters, getting two top French stars in the form of Daju and Vigil Dream opens her up even more to the francophone crowd of which she has definitely had a soft spot for throughout her career. On the, I think, and also I think she um, speaks French, right? Yeah. On the other hand, the beats have a Latin and island tinge to them occasionally here and there. Even some of the singing, which means she could find a crossover for that Central and South American side of things. While she still has that African feeling to her music, she's done a lot of work to expand her, her horizons and... This might be a new direction for music in general. Lyrically, Yemi Alade is still as funny as ever, witty. She always finds ways to really convey her message uh, while singing well and being animated at the same time. I won't even go into the mixing and mastering. This is one of those top albums, pure class from start to finish. No complaints for me. The weirdest thing happened when I was about to review this album. I start listening and I hear the song, oh my gosh, and thought, okay, that's a bit odd to start a new album off with a 2018 song. Then I was halfway through the review and I hear the song, How I Feel, and thought, what the hell? Am I listening to the wrong album or what? That's when I realized on Spotify, it looks like two or three songs were somehow mistakenly included on uh, the new album, giving a wrong track list entirely 
Not sure what happened there and uh, hoping they fix this, considering that the album has been out a couple of weeks already. Um, yeah, it was a bit strange. But anyway. Album Review The Final Thoughts Musically, Empress is a wonderful album to listen to. It's really about which vibes on the album you want to carry your experience the most. A good 60 to 70 percent of the album could really be singles in their own right, just depending on what she wants to push. And that says a lot about the experience Yemi Alade gives you here. I like that she didn't try too hard to be unique or different just because everybody expects those kind of uh, projects the deeper you are in the game. She's just making dope music and I highly appreciate that. I wouldn't call this album a classic, but I'll definitely say it's a really good album that is worth a listen. I, I've got some favorites on this project and those include Weekend featuring Estelle, Lose My Mind, Mami Ota, Mami Ota, I like that one, um, Control, Yo Yo Yo, Dancing Rain featuring Zanza Youth Choir, that was a different kind of vibe, I didn't expect that song from her to be honest, but uh, nice touch, and of course Double Double which is like the dance hits at the very tail end of the album, it's the last song. And it just sounds good. You too can listen to Yemi Alade's Empress, which is her latest project. It's available everywhere online, honestly. But in the meantime, just don't listen to it on Spotify just because of what I mentioned. Uh, the track listing got messed up somewhere, somewhere, which is weird. But yeah. Anyway, check it out. Yemi Alade, Empress. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. This was the African Album Review Podcast. Peace. Day and day. Moto Moto Music, the best place to listen to podcasts about African music online.